Welcome to Breath of the Wild. Welcome to the wi- Welcome to the Last Guard. Okay, you get the point. It looks and feels like these games. This game right here is Rhyme, and it could be your name or it could be this place. Either way, let's just get into it. Before I butcher this game with poor attempts to be funny, condensing it down in just a couple of minutes, I just have to say real quick, this game was absolutely beautiful, and the story it tells brought me, honestly, close to tears in the last final minutes of gameplay. I mean, allergies, y yes, it was just uh, a <clears throat> bad case of allergies. This is you. I don't know your name, so get over it. You wash up on some beach somewhere. Get your vocals ready, because you soon learn screaming is the only way to get things done. <laughs> Or you can just scream at pigs for fun. Also, spooky guy in the red cape? Don't worry about that little guy. More on him later. Your screaming summons a fox. Should I follow it? You ask yourself? No. No, you shouldn't. Just stay here where it's safe and you can live in denial. Okay, fine. Just follow the dumb thing. Pause to take in the scenery. Goodness. Just breathtaking. Don't forget to yell at things. If you ever doubt what you're supposed to do in this game, just yell at things. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. Congrats, it's a one-time chance to take a plunge into the Raincore pit. JK, more puzzles. Alright, so Big Key does something when you stare at this little key. Alright, sure, whatever, developers. Like, that's gonna work. Okay, it worked. Pro tip! Don't jump off this balcony. So line up the three balls? Okay, crazy developers. No way this one's gonna... Holy crap. Fine, you do you, boo. Get the key tree, boom, stairs. Pro tip, cross that bridge. Play Father Time because, you know, nothing ever bad happens when you do that. Ignore every time travel movie ever. Now you're in a temple thing. Scream at some pots. You find your inner Clay Aiken and sing your heart out for Red Guy. Also this weird ghost thing. Up, up, up the stairs, through the keyhole. Hi, creepy cult things. I hope you guys don't have any weird and sinister plans for me. Remember how playing with time never hurt no one? I lied. Meet weird, mean, angry eagle thing. Now you gotta get your time ball thing back. But how, you might ask? Oh, easy, young player. Do some weird astrology puzzle. Activate a dark power from a windmill. Boom, you got yourself one out of three hits. Welcome to Atlantis, where mysteries and priceless treasures can be found. Or just another key, I guess. So. Thanks, that's cool. More astrology puzzles. Pow! More dark powers released. Take that, you kachinga. You did it. I know your big bulbous brain could do those puzzles I didn't show. Matt Pat, give him a clap and a half. Time to get the ball thingy back. Oh. My. God. Run, you fool. Now you're in a new temple thing. Oh, these guys? Th these guys can suck your soul now. Uh, yeah, so have fun with that. Try to avoid them. Swim around some caves for a while until you find your, uh, fox friend. Pro tip, follow the fox. Ignore soul-sucking cultists. Follow the ominous road of darkness. Hmm, dead machine thingies. Let's scream at them, see if anything happens. Ha! Holy crap, it worked. Receive his beam of insight and go do stuff. And by stuff, I mean kill those Dementor things. By screaming, of course. This makes a tree grow and have a baby machine head guy thing. Now you gotta put him together. Fun stuff, huh? Isn't this just cute? He's gonna lead you to where you need to go. So, you know, follow him. Then you scream at this thing and guess what? Now you have a ton of friends. It's raining, and the Dementors no longer want your soul, so that's good. Uh-oh, the machine guys are suiciding into doors. Alright, th this scene right here, let's let's just be real for a minute. Let's just say my allergies really started to work up a little bit, okay? Moving on! Gotta scream at these, uh, kiddos in the rain to activate the statue. You gotta be joshing me now. First my machine pail, and now my box. That's enough to drain anyone's soul. Which it does. To the top of this tower, then pow, you're in a big empty room. The world literally and metaphorically gets flipped upside down.
The final minutes you play is what I can only assume is the ghost of the kid finally coming to terms with his fate. Now, this this final scene, I'm just going to let play because it's just too beautiful to ruin with my stupid voice. Goodness, if if you don't feel something from that, my friend, uh, you have lost your soul and we just cannot be friends. Before we go, let me know how you feel about games with little to no dialogue, but still t somehow tell a powerful story. So for you, are they yay or nay? I'm always just curious to hear others' opinions, and this is one way to, you know, scrape at that data. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing your answers and seeing you in the next video.